Hey everyone, and welcome to BMX News. This is a weekly BMX news show where I talk about everything that I think you might care about that happened in the previous week in the world of BMX. And we have a ton of things to talk about this week, so let's just jump right on into it. And the first thing that I want to talk about this week is sponsorship news. And the first thing we have there is that Mark Burnett is off of Sunday Bikes. This seemed like it was a pretty big surprise to the BMX community. Community. It came with a farewell video from Sunday that was 45 seconds long. It included some of Mark's best tricks and clips, and it had video with some of the other Sunday teammates as well. I don't know where Mark's going to end up, but if I had to guess, I would probably guess on and after that, we have the news that Jose Torres is now on Vans. This doesn't come with a video or anything like that. Just the news that Jose Torres is now riding for Vans shoes. After that, we had a couple contest and jam recap videos. The first of those is the 2018 Toyota Triple Challenge from Arlington, Texas. This was a recap video. And as I was watching this, I was wondering if it was just irony that the first clip from a monster energy video is of a rock star energy rider falling really hard. <laughs> I can't say for sure one way or the other, but what I can say is that this video has some completely outrageous riding in it from some of the best riders in BMX. If you're into this crazy circus trick type riding and just giant dirt jumps in general, you're definitely going to be into this one. And that's going to be it as far as contest and jam recap videos go, but there's also another contest going on this weekend, the third stop of the Uncovered BMX contest series is going down in Milwaukee, Wisconsin at Four Seasons Skate Park. I don't know if it's too late to sign up for the contest yet, but I do know that the guys who have been going to these contests are probably going to this one and they're gonna bring the heat. So if you're in the area or you're anywhere nearby or traveling through, check it out. It's definitely going to be insane and be on the lookout next week or the week after for the recap video as I'm sure there's going to be one. And after that, we can move into the videos for this week. And there are a lot of videos this week. I had to keep it narrowed down to my top 10 as far as videos that I want to talk about, but there's 10 other videos after that that I have to list. So let's jump right on into the videos for this week. The first one that I want to talk about is Montana Ricky snow rails. So when you get a new frame, what's the first thing that you do with it? Obviously, you go out in the snow and hit a bunch of handrails if you're Montana Ricky. I have to talk about this video first because it's seriously insane. Ricky hits three different handrails in this video, falls super hard a bunch of times, and one of those handrails is really long, and he did a 180 out of a double peg grind on that rail while the ground had snow on it. Completely insane, and he did it all just for the love of it because he doesn't care about anything Thing other than BMX it's his entire life and he only does it because he loves it after that we've got a video called Mark Burnett field notes Barcelona with Simone Baracco from shadow this video is absolutely awesome awesome. Mark defines the Field Notes series as a regurgitation of anything I had on my camera roll dumped over top of a Juicy J or Meek Mill song. And while I didn't really get super into the song, I got real into the video and who knows without this series where all of these clips from his phone would have ended up other than Instagram. And I'm 100% convinced that Simone can do anything he wants to on his bike, including hitting any peg he wants off of anything he wants after hitting any peg he wanted to on anything he wanted to in the same line or obstacle. He is amazing at riding. I definitely recommend watching this video, even if you don't get super into the song the way I didn't. Next, we've got a video from Alexander Kozaker 
in Israel from bike stuff. This is by far one of my favorite videos from the week or even the past month. It might be because this guy is a combination of like three different people I know, but either way, this video is still awesome. First of all, it's from Israel. Second, it's got crank flips and X rides galore in it. And it's not very often that we see a video with a huge crank flip drop and a huge bunny hop tail whip drop in the same video. This one is definitely worth the watch. Then we've got a Chad Osborne video from G Sport. Chad Osborne is the guy who's not afraid to do all of the things that you think you might be able to do, but are way too scared to try. And he can shred a bowl with the very best of them because he's one of the very best. There are so many insane gaps in this video that it absolutely has to be the video of the week that I say you must watch this video. This is the one that anyone can enjoy because anyone can appreciate how insane some of the gaps are in this video. Just do yourself a favor and watch this video. After that, we've got a video for all of you photographers out there called Point of Shooter Flatland in Civil. This is a short behind the scenes video with shooting photos of flatland riding. I think the language being spoken in the video is Spanish, but it doesn't matter because BMX and photography are both universal languages. Along with the behind the scenes clips, we also have the final photos being shown on the screen as well. They have the final photo, the histogram, and the settings used to take the photo shown at the same time. This video is definitely one that any BMX photographer can enjoy. From there, I wanna talk about a video of Dylan Hesse at Rampworks. This kid is only 14 years old doing bar spin to bar spin anywhere he wants. And the last clip is a quadruple truck driver. That's right, bar spin to bar spin to bar spin to bar spin, four bar spins in one 360. This kid definitely has a bright future ahead of him, provided that he stays away from cars and girls. Next, we had a video called Barcelona Teleportation featuring Matthias Dandois. And like I said last week, I know almost nothing about flatland riding, but what I do know is that Matthias has to be one of the best flatland riders and this video was entertaining to watch. I don't know enough about flatland or what I was watching in general to be able to say for sure, but what it looked like in this video is that it was supposed to be one continuous link taking place over many different locations. Even if that's not the case, Matias rides some beautiful locations in Barcelona and this video was extremely well put together. Then we had Corey Dewey last stand section from Presence BMX. This is one section from a larger project. Judging by how the audio cuts out, within a couple seconds of the video starting. I think that there's an audio copyright issue or something going on with the video itself. Either way though, still watching the video being silent was entertaining enough for me. This video is full of tech grinds and new school type street riding. So if that's what you're into, you'll definitely be into this video. After that, we had a video from Bro's Bike Store called Youngblood. This is a cool one. The Bro's Bike Store decided to start supporting some younger local riders and they made this video with them. Each rider has their own section in the video as well as their own music and there are some amazing spots in this video. Every single one of the riders killed it and it's just really awesome to see a bike shop do something like this. The young local riders are the future and they're the ones that keep the scene going. So I want to finish that one by saying support your local bike shop. From there we had a video called Street Riding in Trenton, New Jersey from 5050 Skate Park. The 5050 guys have been uploading videos pretty consistency late pretty consistency. God damn it. Pretty consistency lately. Consistency. I said it again. The 5050 guys have been uploading videos pretty consistently lately. I know that I've talked about a few of them in past BMX news videos. These guys are always riding really fun looking spots and making it look really fun in the process. So that's everything that I wanted to talk about in depth as far as videos go this week. But like I said earlier, we've got 10 other videos to list off. So let's get right into it. First, we had Super Price Choppers from BMX Foo, then Hot Dogs Who Can't Duke 3D from Bad for Life, a video called Reverberation from Harry Mills Wakely from United, then The Search for Mount Baldy, 
Frenchies Meeting BCN, Source BMX Bullseye with Nathan Williams, Jamie Thayer at Transition Skate Park, a Props Issue 79 commercial from Colony BMX, then a Mark Burnett 2018 Instagram compilation. From there, there was a couple longer videos that I wanted to single out. For those of you who like the longer BMX riding type videos, these are not game videos like from Scotty Kramer. These are longer riding mixtape type videos. The first one is 12 minutes long and it's called Format Error and it's from Turf Talk. Then we add Columbus BMX mixtape number two at 14 minutes long and finally at 25 minutes long we had wham cam hd that's everything as far as videos goes for this week links to all of them as well as everything else that we talk about today will be in the description below in the order that it's talked about and from there we had a bunch of product news to talk about so let's get right into that we had a 2018 spring apparel promo video from fit this is just a short one minute long video with a few of the fit guys riding around and adventuring in the new fit tees. From there, we had a Chase D Hart signature thoroughfare sprocket promo video from Animal Bikes. I feel like there's a play on words or something going on with the title of that sprocket that I'm just not getting. Either way, with Steve's for Days and Spots Galore, this video is one that any street rider can enjoy. Chase D is obviously still killing it, so it's really awesome to see him continue to get some shine from Animal. From there is a video promoting a chance to win Nathan Williams' first kink bike. Nathan builds up, then rides a new kink setup at Source Park in this 37 second long video. If you want details on how to win his old kink setup, the details are in the Source BMX app. Then we had another video from Kink in a last look at the 2018 Kink Gap FC Remix. This is a very cinematic and quick look at the 2018 Kink Gap Complete that also comes with a free coaster. Then we have the Sabrosa Mystery Box Sale and as you can see here there's three different options where you pick the size and they pick the rest. Next is the camo anodized colorway of the contour rim from Colony BMX. This is Bobby Altizer's signature colorway for the contour rim and I am super pumped on this one. If any of you know Bobby or know who he is, you know that he is one of the most solid dudes out there and if anyone deserves this signature colorway, it's him. And if you don't know who Bobby is and you don't know his riding, just do yourself a favor and look it up. We had a sneak peek at the 2018 Volume Voyager frames and then a video about 3D printing BMX hubs. This is a video from a guy who's local to me named Johnny Lee where he 3D prints BMX hubs, specifically a front hub. Then he breaks that first front hub design. I think on the first 180 he does. He goes back, refines his design, and prints another, which actually and surprisingly held up throughout the whole video. It would be really interesting to see this hub get put up against some more aggressive riding. I know I wouldn't want to be the one testing it, and you can't blame the guy for being nervous to do anything like big or scary because the thought of a hub breaking or disintegrating in front of you and front flipping is just scary. So hopefully it holds up for him and hopefully this is something we see more of in the future. I know he's gonna do a lot more 3D printing of a lot more different stuff on the bikes. He's already done a ton. So if that's something that you're interested in, the link will be in the description below. And that's everything that I wanna talk about this week as far as BMX news goes. If you like the video and you want more BMX news, hit the subscribe button. I try to come out with these videos every Friday at or before 4 p.m. Eastern time, as well as Tip Tuesday videos, which come on Tuesdays when I have a tip to talk about, which there will be more of in coming weeks. And for details on that, click the video in the info card in one of these corners. And as well as that, I come out with different types of writing videos throughout the week. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.